Good morning everyone, hope you're all doing great. Today I thought I'm gonna do a quick little haul. I wanted to show you some new pieces that I got from this new brand called Nomad Basic. It's super cute, very sophisticated and chic. I got some cool pieces for autumn. Um, and yeah, I feel a bit sick. I feel a bit under the weather. I feel like everyone these days is getting sick, so don't mind my voice. It's a bit blocked. But yeah, the weather is not looking so good today. I thought it was gonna be sunny, so you know, I thought I'm gonna film this video, have nice lighting, but it's a bit grey and miserable. Oh well, London weather it is. I've got my goodies here. No more basic, I like the packaging. I also got a cute little coaster. Look at that. Natural hand woven coaster. It's gonna match my table. Nice little card. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Ooh, this is definitely a very sophisticated brand, very classy and chic. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try on the pieces and show you how I style them. Okay guys, so the first item is this super cute and simple tank top. It's actually not that simple because it's got this kind of asymmetrical vibe going on and it also has these slits on the side which i think is super cute very nice and classy you know i'm obsessed with these kind of tops especially for wearing in the day or like putting under jumpers this is size extra small by the way it feels really nice not too tight but it's nicely fitted on the bust love the quality it's very soft nice and durable definitely gonna be wearing this a lot it's a great wardrobe staple you can never have enough of these so I love the, I love the straps. Very lovely. Okay, this set is one of my favorites. We've got this cute little sweatpant sweatshirt set in this nice neutral color. I feel like I'm slowly getting into these classy pieces, you know, very timeless pieces. The quality on this is absolutely amazing. Like it's so soft, and from the inside, it's like so cozy and like delicate. I just love it. It has these very white sweatpants and I really like that. It's kind of different. This with my Laura Piana shoes is gonna look incredible. This is perfect for wearing around the house or maybe going for a little walk or a casual shopping day. You can throw on a little coat over it and you look super classy. So the sweatshirt is size extra small and the pants are S because I like them to be a little bit loose. So they're not too tight on your stomach because then you get bloated. So yeah, this is a perfect fit for me. I love it. It also has pockets, so that's great. You can put your phone in. But yeah, love this. By the way, the older I get, I realize I really don't like fast fashion anymore. I like timeless pieces. I like good quality items. Like I prefer spending a little bit more money on something that's gonna last me for a few years as opposed to buying something, you know, fast fashion that you're gonna just have for one year and you're gonna need to buy a new one. And these items are incredible quality, like super soft. Like this will last me for definitely a few years. Okay, another classic timeless piece is this white shirt. Perfect little white shirt. I love the kind of longer back and then the shorter front. You know I don't even own one white shirt in my wardrobe. Like I have a lot of white shirts that are like super puffy sleeves or very crazy, but nothing simple. And I always wanted one. This is perfect for autumn, for like, I don't know, you can layer stuff with it. You can put jumpers on top, jackets, blazers. So yeah, this is very classy. I can actually tuck it in the skirt. I'm just wearing this basic leather skirt. So yeah, I tucked the dead shirt into the skirt. It looks really nice and classy. You can pair it with boots, like ankle boots, maybe like a blazer on top, and you look super chic. And I really love the fabric, it's really nice quality, it's definitely gonna stay in my wardrobe for many years, so I'm excited to finally have a nice classy white shirt. Okay, up next we've got this very classy black kind of trench coat, kind of looks like a raincoat, it's really nice, I feel like I'm in business when I'm wearing this. Ooh. I really like the quality and I also really like the length. It's kind of like below the knee, so you can wear nice boots with it or like ankle boots, heels. Very classy, you can never have enough coats, especially in London, okay? 
and it also has some pockets so yeah i really love it the fit is really nice and it's not like too oversized but you can definitely put like a jumper underneath and i'm wearing size extra small so okay last but not least we've got this really gorgeous nude blazer this is honestly perfect for autumn i'm obsessed and i love the quality i wish you could touch it it's like extremely soft it's got like these three buttons here and it has like this very straight look so you can even size up i'm wearing size extra small and it has a nice little room you can put like a jumper underneath i'm just wearing this like turtleneck turtleneck mini skirt some tights probably some boots and i'm ready Ooh. honestly i really wanted a nude blazer for a long time and nude is just the perfect color for autumn even spring i'm definitely obsessing with blazers at the moment especially like oversized blazers so yeah this is perfect if you're looking for a nude one look no further than a nomad basic and the prices are really reasonable especially for the quality that you get so yeah you should definitely check it out okay so that is it for all the pieces let me know which one is your favorite i'm gonna link everything down below so you can check it out but yeah i'm excited to wear these and i guess i'm gonna see you later okay guys so i'm just getting ready for the mac halloween party and i decided last minute that i'm gonna wear a wig i don't know what got into me okay and don't mind the mess in the background but i just felt like if i'm gonna be a fairy I can't be brunette, you know, I need to be blonde. This is my makeup so far. Lots of crystals, Swarovski crystals, of course. And yeah, my hand is literally shaking because I'm running so late. It's already eight and the party starts at eight. So this is me at eight. I'm going to show you my outfit later, but probably I'm just going to a vlog maybe with the music or something. I don't know, because... I don't think I'm gonna have time to talk more, but I just wanted to show you the situation. my fairy costume i actually really liked it at the end you know at the beginning i was like what was i thinking putting on a wig like the ears were coming off the wig was like pulling on my head it was so heavy like because i never wear really wigs i don't think i even ever wore a wig without like actually so it was so uncomfortable but at the end i really liked it you know it went all together very nicely i think the wig was very necessary. Even my boyfriend agreed. He's like, yeah, the blonde wig was a must with this fairy costume. Because my costume was like blue dress, like baby blue, you know? Um, you know how I actually made this dress? So this is my very old dress from House of CB. I don't know if you know the dress, but I wore this dress like seven years ago. Seven years ago or something. It's like a very long dress. I'm going to attach a picture of how it looks like and the before and after so what i did is i cut it to a mini dress like a short mini dress and i cut the old lace from the bottom and attached it to the end of the dress it's like pretty and then i added like this thing here in the middle of the boobs because it was too like open and my boobs were popping out because mind you the time i wore this dress i didn't have boob drops so yeah I needed to fix that so I needed to like kind of stitch this together um because I didn't even have fashion tape anyway so yeah I made that dress and I also put like the crystals here on it uh yeah I got this crown from like Amazon and then I added like these silver like chains from a necklace what else did I do I don't know I like customized it customizing my halloween look you know so then it's something different no one's gonna be dressed the same as you um also for the wings i got these wings and they actually light up but it wasn't working so i bought this glow in the dark paint and i painted all the edges um you couldn't really see it 
when the light was shining, like when the blue light was shining on me, they were kind of like glowing in the dark, but it has to be very dark for you to see, for you to see that. By the way, I'm, I'm a bit sick, I don't know if you can tell, uh, I've been a bit sick for like a week, that's why I wasn't even vlogging much. So yeah, I painted the wings, I even added crystal onto the wings, uh, like crystals that I got from Amazon. I did a few little DIYs, you know. Uh, I'm actually having a very exciting costume on Saturday, because on Saturday we're going for another Halloween party. This time we're going to Coco. And if you don't know, Coco Camden is the best venue for like parties, raves, especially a Halloween party because now they renovated the whole thing so it looks very cool. It's like all these balconies and like red velvet. So it's gonna be like the perfect venue for a Halloween party. Like I'm so excited. And I'm dressing as... Um, my costume doesn't even have a name. Basically I'm wearing the cape that I wore like twice already for Halloween but I don't care because I love this cape. Okay, I'm dressing as a gothic queen witch i don't know queen of the darkness again <laughs> you know i have a style of a halloween costume that i like and it's lace actually no i'm dressing as a lace lady that's that's what i said in my last video that i'm gonna dress as a la lace lady <laughs> with a crown that i made i have something in my eye um so yeah i made this crown i got this crown from amazon and it's basically like a band with like loads of spikes and it was very boring so i got this lace i attached the lace with like a glue gun i got all these crystals i, ta I attached all the crystals and then i'm gonna like put my, like a necklace here on my head so i'm gonna customize this look i'm gonna look good okay i'm gonna do a nice makeup um and yeah i'm excited sorry my washing machine is finished um so I also got this cool dress from Selfridges. But I'm gonna show you tomorrow my outfit. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog much because my boyfriend's parents are here. So maybe I'm just gonna show you my outfit. Show you the venue. We're going with whole group. Scarlett and Alina is also coming. So I'm very excited for this party. I don't know. I just love dressing up for Halloween. It's so much fun. You know? Um, it's the only time of the year you can like go crazy and no one cares. I'm not gonna lie though, yesterday when I was walking down the street looking like a fairy, everyone was like What is she? Where did this fairy come from? And I was like, oh my gosh Imagine when I came back from the party um, I was like alone in the lift and like all these people in the lift with me and they're like trying not to laugh and I'm like standing there thinking Oh my god <laughs> With my ears, you know, and my blonde wig uh, it was fun. The venue for this party was so good. Like all the chandeliers, wow, it was amazing. I didn't even vlog much these days, so I didn't even give you an update of Biggie. You know what happened? He actually had second surgery. He had to have a second surgery because the first surgery that they did, they messed up. They obviously not gonna admit it, but they did. And the stitching like was so badly done that the wound wasn't healing, so it wasn't closing, because they the wound was like this big. The wound was like this big, and it wasn't really closing, so they were like, oh, actually, he needs to have another surgery to, like, stitch it properly, so the cartilage goes and, like, grows together, and I was like, what? Oh my gosh, you should have seen me. I was like, I was not having it. I was like, excuse me, I have photos of this wound, and it looked like this exactly when he had the surgery, so that means you messed it up, you know? I'm not gonna swear here, but I feel like swearing. So yeah, Biggie had to be put under again, and they did the surgery, they put new stitches. Um, overall, it's been eight weeks since he's been wearing the cone. Eight weeks! He's still wearing the cone now. Um, they took the stitches off literally f like a few days ago. So they said, leave the cone on for a few more days so like it heals and then we can take it off so finally hopefully it's coming to an end because like i literally feel so sorry for him he's so sad like you know wearing a con for eight weeks so much pain so much like discomfort and it was so many like complications you know what they did they um 
they did the second surgery and they put these tubes all around the ear, front and back. And the guy was like, oh yeah, we're gonna put these tubes so like it can drain, whatever. And at the end, the tubes started growing into the ear, like causing so much pressure. So he was in so much pain and we didn't even know. And we went to the vet because we, we were having like weekly checkups. And we showed it to the vet, to the surgeon, and we're like, look what's happening. He's like, oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. Oh no, we need to remove it. So he removed that one tube and he literally had two holes in his ear from each side of the ear. And it was just like horrible. So he was in pain. He was on like painkillers. And then long story short, a few days after, another tube started growing into the ear. I was like, what is going on? It was like horrible. So at the end he removed all the tubes and stitches and now he's getting better. Although his ear is going like this again. So you know when he when they did the surgery, the second surgery, the ear started going straight because of the tubes, I think. It was like straight, but now it's like a little a little sad. So yeah, we're gonna have a sad little biggie and his hair is starting to grow again. Poor little boy. <sighs> but yeah, that's that. That's that for a little update. Um, I'm gonna probably vlog tomorrow and show you my outfit for Halloween. And yeah, my boyfriend is dressing up as a demon with like horns that I'm gonna put for him. <laughs> it's gonna be quite scary. Uh, I don't know what other guys are dressing us up. Probably nothing. I mean, I don't know. I'll show you in the video tomorrow, I guess. He's sleeping right now, look at him. Baby, show your little face. I just love holding him like that. Okay, I'm not gonna wake him up. I'll show you, I'll show you his ear later. You know, we've been giving him these um, strong painkillers. So when he takes one of these painkillers, he literally passes out and he sleeps for six hours straight, like without any, like waking up. I don't know if my boyfriend gave him a pill today, because he was itching quite a lot. Like not itching, but like being in discomfort. Maybe it's the cone. I think he just hates it. Look at my little autumn setup. Beautiful red roses and a beautiful candle that I got from Alina. It's from Dr. Vrain something. I don't know. Can't spell that. But it's the smell of red wine. Okay. Red wine, winery type of thing. So she knows me well. I love it. I've been lighting it up every evening with our movies. Gives a vibe. This actually is giving me a little inspiration for this year's Christmas tree. I'm thinking I'm gonna keep all the green decorations, but I might add a little burgundy, few little burgundy red uh, bubbles. What do you think? Just one type. I'm thinking red velvet or like the burgundy velvet um maybe like 10 of them or something so it will be more like a green and red let me know what you think but i guess i should have something different than last year right these are pretty okay guys so i'm halloween ready does my makeup look i put all these swarovski crystals i'm obsessed Okay, guys are ready, so I need to run, but I'm probably just gonna vlog a little bit from the club and show you my outfit. But yeah, exciting. So today is a very exciting day because 
Today is Alina's 30th birthday. We all turned 30 literally at the same time, like September, November. So yeah, very exciting. I'm gonna quickly run to Harrods because I don't have a gift for her. And I was super busy in the last few days, so I didn't have chance to get it. So yeah, I'm gonna go quickly and meet Scarlett and she's gonna help me choose her gift because I'm so indecisive that, you know, me and Claudia, we can be in the shop for like three hours and we're still not gonna know what to get. I'm just wearing this like casual sweater outfit. But yeah, the weather is not looking so good today. It's kind of raining. Um, I don't even know what to wear tonight. I haven't thought about it yet. Maybe something like this lace dress. I haven't worn that lace dress yet. Maybe lace dress with the tights or something? Or should I wear the green dress? Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to think about that. So yeah, it's 10 o'clock now. Uh they open hers at 10, so I'm just gonna run quickly, get a taxi, and then I need to be back here at 12 because my mom is arriving here at 12. She's coming for the day. And I told her I'm like super busy because I'm going for the dinner and everything. And she's like, oh, I'm still gonna come because it's the weekend and I'm working every other day. So I'm like, okay. Uh, but it's fine. I haven't seen her in a long, long time. So I'm excited. She went to Poland like recently and she's bringing me some Polish sweets and Polish goodies. So I'm excited about that. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm probably just gonna vlog from later, from the dinner, show you my outfit and stuff. Don't mind the mess in the background, like, what is all these books? <laughs> I don't even read them. Anyway, let's go. I think this is my next purchase, okay? You know I love gold. Oh my god. What do you think is too much? Okay, what on earth? Look at this shine. We've got the gift, guys, and I even got Alina my favorite tea, the yellow Kuzmi Detox tea, because it's matching the bag, so I thought, you know what, yellow vibes. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm ready for Alina's birthday dinner. This is what I'm wearing. This cute little revolt dress. I really wanted to wear it for so long, so this is the perfect occasion. I decided to put some tights with it. For the autumn vibes with my favorite labatons. And yeah, I'm wearing this necklace for a change because it's quite sparkly. So I curled my hair a bit, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I cut my hair a bit shorter here in front. So I have some like layers. A bit of thin, nothing too crazy because my hair is a bit of fine, but I'm ready. I'm gonna get Uber and leave because as usual I'm late. Mm -hmm. 